Hello there. Today I am modifying my Antec case again. This is the 900 version 2. I still use this case for my main computer. It is extremely well built, very heavy duty, very heavy. It is from when Antec was still US based or owned and uh, good stuff. It has a lot of airflow and um, I have no need to replace it. When this case came out, the front USB ports were USB 2. Subsequently, the following year or something like that, they came out with a version 3, which is the same design, but there was a there was two differences. The USB ports on the new version are USB 3, which of course is more desirable. And I think, I could be wrong about this, but the I think that perhaps the fans, which are numerous, uh, on the version 3 are controllable by the motherboard. I don't know that for sure, but it doesn't matter because I made a video modifying the fans on this, uh, in this tower so that they can be controlled by the motherboard and as a result of that a fellow in Italy by the name of David saw my video and seeing that I am still using this every day as my main computer case he was very kind to offer me the upgraded updated USB 3 ports which he had bought from Antec many years ago, about 10 years ago, and he had never used. So he told me, hey, I'm going to send this to you. And he did. And I am very appreciative because I had been looking for this. I had contacted Antec, and apparently once they got purchased by um, an Asian company, they got rid of all the old inventory. And so there is nothing available for the old cases unless somebody sells it to you. Um, and David sent it to me free of charge, very kindly, and very much appreciated. So now, I am going to install this. I'm probably going to take the opportunity to also... I had recently opened this up and cleaned everything out, so in, internally it should be clean. But I'm probably going to switch my CPUs as well, because my i7-4790K that I recently installed is a little wonky. So I'm probably going to put back the one that I had there previously. And so here we go. The way to remove this panel is you have to remove the entire top off of the case. And it is held by four screws that are way, way tucked in there, over here, over there, and over there. Normally, you don't have to remove the cooler and all this stuff in order to get to it it's just a little bit difficult but since I am going to be swapping out the CPU anyway or at least checking to make sure it's seated properly um, I'm going to remove this first because it's large and in the way thereby getting better access to the screws so the screws that hold the top in are those little screws right there, one with the ground wire over here, another one over there, another one way back there, which I'm probably going to remove this fan in order to have direct shot the screw and that. And then this whole top slides. Don't try to lift it out. Slide it back and then up and out. And the um, cables, cable to this, depending on how you have it routed, are kind of restrictive with the movement so I'll have to figure that out once I uh, pull it up and remind myself how exactly how I had done this okay so I removed the screws I also had to remove the fan get it out of the way and so this whole panel should slide Was it forward or back oh, forward there you go you see that slides right open now I have to disconnect all the cables that go to this front panel, that being power, USB, 
I believe it's a fire wire as well, which I have never used. And yeah, I don't know how, I don't remember how I routed this thing, so it's gonna take some time, but yeah. So because of the way I routed everything in order to hide the wires and not impede airflow, it's going to take a significant amount of deconstructing to get these wires out. So, I mean, every application is going to be different, obviously. Mine is mine, and so this is going to take a while. But I'm not going to bother to record that because there's no point. Unfortunately, I ran into a little snafu. So this board, which is a Asus Maximus 6 formula, only has one internal USB 3 connection that supports two USB 3 connections. The thing is, I already have my multi-card reader that has a USB port, 3 USB 3 port attached to it. And so, I would have to sacrifice that in order to use the new panel. And I would still be losing one of the ports, because this actually has three. I don't know if they have something that multiplies a port without sacrificing any speed or anything. You know, defeating the whole purpose of changing it. But, best case scenario as it is now, I'm going to lose two of the four front mounted USB 3 ports which kind of sucks but uh, unless I could find some solution this is gonna have to be it I'm gonna try the easy slash lazy way um, there's a lot of cables holding everything including the big boy fan over here and there is a mess of wires um, that I would have to go through to remove this the proper way. So I'm going to try to cheat by just removing the screws here and maybe it will come off without having to take everything apart. Well, I finally got it loose. It was four screws. Took a lot of contorting. Had to topple the thing over to get it all out. And so now I'm going to try to snake the wires out. So here's the original setup. It's two USB 2.0s. You got the mic, you got the um, speakers, two different types of audio connections, and a uh, SATA connection. I'd forgotten that that's what the uh, third um plug here was four but in all the years i've owned this case i have never used this and that's probably why the newer version omitted that and just added a third usb port so i got the panel installed i gotta route it through the case up on top and in my case up and around the back of the board here to pop out around here to come back out over here that way everything's out of the way and looks nice so here is my problem and you may encounter this on many boards this board is obviously vintage it still works it's been upgraded with a lot of modern goodies and it has the best of the best but it is an old one it only has one usb three header that can handle two different USB 3 cables. Problem is I have four. So I went on Amazon and I found a Y splitter that supposedly allows for connecting even more. So I'm going to try that out, see if it works. For now, I will have to sacrifice two USB connections and just use two of the four that I have in front of this computer.
Man, this thing got filthy in one month. Anyway, um, so it goes in like that. Locks in place. And then just reversal. Putting the screws and the grounding wire, etc. And uh, that should be it. Thank you again to David. This is what the front looks. See, a blue USB. This is where the SATA connection used to be. And now they made it into a third USB port, which I do not have connected until I get that Y splitter, which I'm not even sure if it's going to work. I know for a fact that it will slow down the speeds, but supposedly, even though it won't be full USB 3 speeds, it will be way faster than USB 2. So it'll be slightly slower. Obviously, if I connect three devices at the same time, it's going to slow th th things down further. And quite frankly, the only thing I really ever have connected over here, and it doesn't even need a USB 3, is the uh, transmitter for my, or receiver rather, for my um, wireless mouse, um, which works just fine with uh, USB 2. So that's it for now. I don't know how many people care about this with this relic, but for those that do, that's how it's done.